So I've balanced you up. I'm just gonna blow dry my hair and then I'm gonna put my extensions in. <laughs> So I was going to do, like originally I was going to like just to kind of, kind of almost clip it up or have it up like that with a few like little framing pieces, but I'm not sure because like obviously, I don't know, I could clip my extensions in and have like long hair and then just like curl my extensions, but then if this doesn't go well, then I don't have time to like, to like, f make it right. So, I did originally have somewhere, I don't know where I put it, but somewhere, have um, an actual curling tool, but I don't know where that's gone. Like, it's gone somewhere. Um, gonna use some heat protector. Don't worry, we'll reveal beforehand. So Emily called me and said like I like I'm heading home like um just trying to protect the ends as much as possible because they've been through some they've been through it all so Um, but yeah, so she said she's home, so now I can actually, like, I can go to hers if I need to, like, when I need to. Oh, that's gonna really... People are gonna hate me for this, but, like, they're gonna be like, Yeah, you can't, like, do it on wet hair. It's not wet, it's just... Okay, maybe it's a bit too wet to do it. But I don't have time, like, I literally don't have time. <laughs> My hair ends up, like, falling out. Then it's my own fault. I kind of want to have my hairbrush here as well, like it's up there. Let me go get my hairbrush.
So my friend has gone to the shower right now, so she said she'd send me her address. I haven't got it, but I think she'll send it to me when she's out of the shower. But yeah, I feel like I'm late. I feel like I am running so late, which I am. So it's not an unvalid reason for an unvalid feeling, but yeah, I do feel like I am running late. I still haven't painted my toenails. I'm probably not even doing this right. I'm probably not even cutting my hair right, but pff, I honestly just don't care. As long as it has some sort of like curl, I'm fine. Like some sort of wave instead of like being dead straight. Now I just can't be asked. Like now I'm just so over it. I'm just so tired. Like I just don't want to do this. Like, okay. So I've just put moisturizer all over my body, and it's the Victoria's Secret Tease uh, Body Whipped Body Cream. So this is one. Um, and now I'm just gonna put on some priming spray. <sighs> I'm stressed and hot and bothered. So that's good. That's we love that. We love for me to get all stressy before. Um, and then I'm just going to use this Rimmel London Colour Correct. Um, this one is for dark circles, which I do have a lot of, because I didn't sleep very well last night, because I had a nightmare. Love that. And then the green one is for redness, for the spots. And after successfully looking a bit like Casper the Ghost, I can now put on my foundation. <sighs> There's so many steps to like doing this, like to being, like, to doing makeup. It's just sometimes just very unnecessary. Um, right, I'm using the Lancome uh, Tint Idol Ultra Wear. in the shade 400W. Thing is, I just want this to be like, kind of, not light makeup. Well, yeah, I do. I want it to be like, kind of light makeup, but just kind of also, like, it shows my flaws as well. You know, like if there's a hint of a spot, I'm okay with that because we've all got imperfections so there's really no point in trying to like conceal them completely um, I'm more concerned about my under eye bags because like I don't I don't want my friends to think that I'm like tired when I'm when they're talking to me about stuff half the time I'm just thinking about I want to go back to bed <laughs> but I obviously can't say that to them. Nothing to do with them, it's just, um, like, whenever I go to sleep, I never feel like I've actually had a good night's sleep. Like, I never feel, like, properly rested. I always feel like, like, you know, it's another day. So, I wake up and I'm tired and everyone's like, well, you just been to bed, like, how are you tired? And it's like, well, I am. I'm a tired bitch. I'm just known to be tired, okay? Right, and I'm just gonna use... Everything's falling over, it's fine, I can't be asked. Um, this is the number seven beige. And then it's the wrong brush. Which, I was going to stay with like the Lancome stuff, which I probably will go over this with Lancome, but I just needed to... just needed those extra bits to just disappear. Which is fine, it's gone, kind of. 
it kind of gone, which is fine. Great. Love that. And then I'm going to use the Nature Collection, Natural Collection. I can't read. Just as a bit of powder, just to cover. Keep it on. I also kind of wish that I added sun cream on now. It's clouded over, but you know. Still. Wish that I added some sun cream. I'm looking in the mirror. Now, I thought I was going to do contour. I don't know how to do contour. So I thought I might do contour, and then I just thought, well, I really don't want to, like, mess it up. And yes, I know I'm using lipstick, but I don't, I don't do contour, so I don't, oops, wrong way. So I don't really know how, like, I wanted to try it out with, like, lipstick, just in case I didn't like it, and it's just, like, I'm not going to spend money on something that I don't need. Never understood contour. Like, never, never got it. I basically am just trying to follow what, like, Instagrammers, um, like, from watching, like, loads of TikToks and Instagrammers, of what, how they do it, so. They tend to just, like, smudge, which isn't really doing anything for me here. I don't know if that's done anything. Yeah, don't know if that's done anything. I hope it has. Um, now the blush. The blush is from the Papoff Girl collection from XX Revolution. And I just kind of dab it up here, dab it up here. I mean, I used to be a tomboy back in the day. Like, back in high school, I used to be a tomboy. I used to always wear trousers, never really wore skirts, never you know, is hung out with the boys, um, but then it's life, and I was kind of one of those early bloomers as well, so like, I got boobs, and then boys just kind of didn't see me as a friend anymore and saw me as a target, which happens to all girls, but it's like, when you're an early bloomer, and you don't really know what's going on with your body, and then suddenly it's like, all our, like all eyes are on you, from like, your guy friends, and teachers, and like, I don't know, it's just, it's a bit kind of, disconcerting because just like one minute you're like oh my god like hi and they're like hey how you doing and then it turns into less of a hey how you doing tomorrow hey baby girl like come here kind of thing and it's just a bit like <laughs> when did I go from friendly to not so yeah I don't I don't really think that I don't really think that it's kind of it's never girls fault like it's never the girls fault that they bloom early it just happens to everyone they just everyone blooms at different times everyone kind of matures at different times but it's sad in a way it's just kind of sad because it's like one minute you were you know sweet child and you've had to grow up faster than you thought you had to because the world around you stopped looking at you as a child and started looking at you as prey but it's sad you know it's what it is like i'm not trying to be like mean by saying it is what it is but like if people like feed into like the delusion of the world's a good place and you know, I don't need to be on guard because I'm one of the boys, or I don't need to be on guard because the world is so lovely and the world is never going to hurt me, and, um, well, I can walk home in the dark by myself because nothing's ever happened to me. Like, you just can't be that stupid. Because, what if, you know? What if something happens to you? Like, it's not even about stupidity, it's just about being naive. Like, the world isn't full of butterflies and unicorns and rainbows, it's full of dangerous people. Do you think that's how people do contour on their nose? Just like, I'm honestly like my journey to makeup was through the 2000s and if anyone knows back in the 2000s people were just caking it on like crazy they were like okay I'm ready for school and you'd look at them and you'd be like what kind of hell is that <laughs> um I don't know what I'm gonna do for eyeshadow like I had a plan of what I wanted to do and then it just kind of just didn't work out that way because I didn't want to do that in the end if that makes sense like I did a try on yesterday of what I wanted and it just didn't go to plan um so I just I don't know I didn't like that one so I think what I'll do is I'll go for like um instead of my usual like siren eyes I'll go for more of a doughy doughy eye kind of thing um just because I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of the dress and this dress is basically like a very kind of 
sweet, um, like Persephone. Because normally I dress like I'm from Persephone from the Underworld, but this dress is very much like Persephone when she's like with her mum and it's like all spring and lovely. Okay, where? No, there it is. I don't know what I'm gonna do for. I just want my jewelry and then I'll decide. Because I was originally gonna like put some little snake, dangly snake earrings on, but now I'm. Well, I do have like two piercing holes, so I could use that. And I'm already like putting a pearl in the second one, so I think I will. I think I will do the snakes in the end. And for lip gloss, I'm just gonna use some lip gloss, like some normal lip gloss because then in my um well actually I'll use lip balm first and then when I like get there and like I'm running like my lips start getting chapped again I'll just use um the lip gloss that I've got I don't know I don't really ugh it's fine it is what it is at this point I mean I never really liked the summer balls like I went last year and it was okay the one thing that I find quite annoying about it is that you pay like you pay like 40 quid for a ticket and you expect like a lot of like fun things like you expect there to be like some really cool things and there's just there's just not <laughs> like it's basically like like some fun fair rides I think like think of like euphoria but not so it's like there's like a um carousel which if you've never like been to the summer ball and it's your first time like obviously you're gonna get excited about that and you're gonna be like oh my god a carousel like oh my god it's so much fun just not <laughs> it's not you you basically sit there on this carousel and it goes up and it doesn't even really stop so you can like take photos it just kind of goes back down and then it's like right off you go so it's like you're waiting in line for sometimes even like half an hour just to get onto this carousel and then it just takes you up takes you down boom done but i guess that's like all fun fair rides really like but at least on some carousels they like they stop and you can like take photos and like stuff but not this one so yeah kind of loses it's like fun after a while but there is like a really fun like ride that i remember when like since i was a kid which is like one where you like you're sitting in, like you sit in a cart basically and then it goes round really really fast but that one's quite fun that's like what you see at like a normal like fairground circus kind of thing um so i do like that one that was quite fun I feel myself wanting to just quickly go back to black. No, let's not do that. We're doing a nice kind of a nice relaxing, like not heavy makeup today. Ugh. Because like whenever I go out to like um for drinks with Emily, I'm always like black eyeliner and like heavy makeup and just trying to not do that today. But I also think that makeup is my shield in a way. Like my friends know when depression hit me hard because I just walk into school with no makeup and they're like, Are you sick? And I'm like, Yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> But yeah, makeup has always been like a shield to me and I realised that when I was younger and I was like goth Is goth even a thing nowadays? I know they, they still have like emos But I don't know if goth is still a thing Things have changed so much since I was a kid But um, yeah like, you know, back when I was like a goth I would wear such heavy makeup And it was like round about that time That I was, you know, shit went down So, yeah Probably need that mirror actually, just so I can do I want to do like a bit of black, but then I'm like, I don't really want to ruin the look, you know? Can I just do like a little bit? So I feel like my eyes pop if there's just like a little bit of black in there. Right, because I gently eyeliner, like I made like a little wing, that means I got more of a template to actually put some eyeliner on, which I need this mirror again. It's, it's going well, kind of.
someone once said to me that um that like um that wings were not um twins they were sisters so it doesn't need to be perfect which was helpful because i can never do my wings right they just don't look right and then what happens is i start like messing around with them and it just ends up like really badly It's always this one. This one ends up really good and then this one ends up really bad. So I'm going to just stop what's in my head because I'm going to add some... So, yeah, I think it might be raining, but I'm not sure. I did just go and check outside my window, but I can't see anything on the pavement. I mean, if it's raining, it's just my luck, you know? Like, it's fine because it was, like, raining last time. Like, it rained the day before prom, and so, like, when... Um, like the brain, like the um, the ground was like all muddy and like, I thankfully wore boots last time. But um, yeah, this time I'm wearing heels, and I'm really, really hoping that it isn't raining because I don't really have any other shoes to go with this one. Like I have, that's a lie. I actually do have shoes I could do with this. Like I have like other, like I have like white trainers, but I don't really want to wear white trainers when it's raining. Actually, I do have like a light pair of, like a light pair of like this kind of colour of Nikes I could wear. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. So the mascara is the Big Lash, this one, from the Revolution, and then I'm going to put on a bit of um, waterproof, just in case it is raining. Hi, Sam. Hey, buddy. Hi. What are you doing? What? You want a green bean? Is that it? You want a green bean? Yeah. I'm wearing makeup. I know. It smells weird. You're such a little, you're such a little, what are you doing? What are you doing? So this is the final look. Um, you can't really see the bottom of it, but. So yeah, that's the end of it. Then just kneel down. So it wasn't as sheer as I thought it was, but um, yeah. Thanks for watching.